Hi and welcome to CAD Process. Today I show you how to model a 3D printable mold. After modeling and finally printing, you can use this mold to, let's say, cast your own parts out of silicon or maybe concrete, it's your choice. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's go for modeling. At first, we use the sketching tool to create our basic sketch on the front plane. I will not describe this first step in detail, it is just some basic sketching. And then at the end of the day, you maybe create your own stuff and your own basic model which you would like to make a, a mold of, so it's your choice. Now we take the sketched surface to rotate it around the z-axis. After that our base model is nearly finished. After the rotation we can uh, make some more fine tuning, so I added some fillets to make the part less sharp. And then we finally can start to create our mold. So just uh, click on Combinate and uh, choose the original part as your parent. Press OK. We choose the sketching tool, choose our plane, and take the floor plane and we're creating a square with the rectangle tool. We extrude one fourth of the square and this force will be one fourth of our mold later. Now we click on uh, the combine tool and choose the cut option. And very important, we want to keep the tools. Our target is the mold force and the tool is our um, pot. After confirming this operation, we can choose the inner part separately and can move it uh, without moving the outside. Because they are not connected anymore, we can easily delete it because um, there is no usage for it anymore. Just right click it in the tree and, and click remove. After removing the, the part we have, uh, our outside part, maybe in the second you think what is with the hole in the middle and uh, we will simply create uh, another tool part for it, it's called a core. The core will be created in, uh, in the next step, but before that we, ex we extrude a little bit more on the upper side just to make sure that the core have enough space to fit on the radius of the outer mode. After this step we start to create our core. To realize that we again create a new component and then we choose the sketching tool. Choose the upper side of our mold to sketch on. Choose the center point and draw a circle in the middle. Very important is that the circle's diameter has to be a little bit thinner than the model and to make sure that the extruded part can be separated fully from the inside and outside. You will see what I mean by that in uh, the next few seconds. To finish the core we have to use the combine tool again and um, you can choose the option cut. The core is our target and the tool is our mold again like at first when we created the first mold part. We have now uh, two different body parts. Um, one the outside uh, which I marked there we can delete because it's not of usage anymore. So simply remove it. So at this moment we have both parts we need to create a full mold. In this step we make some fine tuning and I want to make sure that the inside the diameter of the outside mold um, is equal to the outer diameter of the core part. Um, yes, so simply select the sketch and you can edit it afterwards because the 3D model is controlled by the sketch and the diameter will automatically set to the sketches parameters. What you can see now is that the um, connection areas or surfaces of the mold parts 
are very smooth and because of that when you actually printed the mold part because of the smooth surface it will be very slippy and um, I want to make sure that you can assemble the mold parts very easy so to make that the case I add some volume which will have the function to make some, some kind of connection between both mold parts so with the rotation operation I will extrude um, the sketch out of which will add a new area and then I use a bullish operation to cut it out of the outer, outer mold so you see that the operation actually worked and we have divided the um, before added area out of the outer mold this same principle I will use on the outside mold as well the difference is that I uh, can use the extrusion uh, command and then I will add some chambers on the extruded surface to um, yeah, make it easy to print the chambers will have 45 degrees and every 3d printer has to be able to print uh, 45 degrees to save some time now I will copy the part and then I will use a bullish operation to cut the before added sections or connections out of the original part and this time I will not keep the tool because it's not needed so as you can see we have one positive side one negative side and it will fit perfectly in each other because we created a force of our mold we can simply copy the, the mold parts and we'll see it will fit together perfectly you can also print this part which means that you can also print this part um, four times and the core separately and then you have a complete mold which you can use to cast your parts so if you're still here i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you'll learn something new and if so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel i would be very very thankful for that have a nice day and bye bye